Yo, 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 YouTube. Time for a sales day video. This is the last two days, I think, of sales. Lots of single card orders, uh, which is starting to become the norm now that I'm expanding and adding more players and different inserts and things like that. But uh, but I'm but my sales are getting bigger, so kind of that trade-off. I think once the football season hits, I'll, I'll be selling big groups of Brady stuff again and Roger stuff again, especially as uh, the grading prices come down, the bulk sales pick up. So, but for today, lots of single card sales. I had some some time during while I was making the last video to sort of pre-pack some of these, so you'll see some of these top loaded and uh, taped. Which of course I don't I don't store them that way, but uh, I was working on those, so that's kind of why those are are like that. But let's go ahead and get started and go over what's old. So the first one is this Magic Moments Tops Magic Brady Tops Magic is a highly underrated set in my opinion, and so I got ten bucks for this for this nice card that I got out of a dollar box. And I sold another. 55 Vintage Common. I think this is Bowman, right? I believe so. Uh, it's George Taliaferro. I believe it's a rookie card for him, too. Uh, halfback for the Baltimore Colts. So pretty cool. I paid a buck a piece for these, and I'm selling these at five a piece. So nice little return on those. And they're, they're selling slowly but surely, a couple, couple each week. All right, and then a couple bazooka farves. So these are 2005 bazooka, the blue parallel, and the base. Uh, what's ironic about this was I was listing some stuff, and I actually had two gold farves that came in that, that big box of farves I get at the Madison show. Um, so I was kind of in the middle of listing and going to list those. This buyer might have bought you know a gold one, too, if he was looking for the rainbow. So anyway, they're listed now. If he wants to come back, I might message him and ask him if he wants one. I have two, so. All right, one of the Jordans, of the big 100-card Jordan lot that I just got sold. This is 94 Upper Deck. I think it's part of the MJ, Mr. June set or collection or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Barry, rookie record holder Barry out of Skybox Impact. A tough stuff Tom Brady. This was a, a tarot card out of a magazine. 94 one. Oh no, 06. Well, a lot later than I thought. I thought it was a lot earlier. So nice sale there. Uh, I had bought a two bunch of 2002 Bowman back in the day. I was a Mark Pryor guy. And uh, anyway, so this is a, a Griffey base. So it was just stuff I had laying in boxes that I'd started listing. Luckily, those are, are selling, which is good. Three OJs from that big OJ lot that I bought. So two of these, I think these are 70, yeah, 78. And this one, I think, is 79. It's 179 and a couple 78s. And then this I got probably for a quarter. Uh, this would have been out of the, the big um, dollar box buy I did in Green Bay. Um, Roethlisberger Limited. I try to, not just by player, but sometimes by set. So Limited was a pretty expensive set. It's a thicker stock, you know, a little bit higher end, higher end set. This is 2021 Limited. And, uh, you know, if I can get that for a quarter or 50 cents, that's, that's pretty easy to, to make something on. All right, now we'll go to the top loaded list. So this one is really fun. Um, this is a, the player bought this card. So George Teague himself bought this George Teague 20 stripe. Uh, you, you hear that happening, you know, here and there, especially as players retire, they're, you know, trying to, trying to pick up some of that nostalgia and stuff from their playing years. And anyway, the, the stripes are, are pretty tough. I listed this just kind of at random. It, it is a rookie card. Um, Packers, of course, he was a great player for, for many years in Green Bay. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Mr. Teague, for purchasing this. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, and then a uh, 90 Tops Griffey. So, again, just some of the stuff I had laying in boxes that I've listed. Another checklist, a Giants checklist. 
checklists, um, vintage checklists. I buy them whenever I see them, especially if they're unmarked. That's what set collectors are looking for. There's a lot of marked ones out there. Um, fairly well centered. Corners are pretty decent. This is a this is a nice card. So it's either either a Giants fan or somebody that's looking to maybe up some great upgrade some cards in their set. Marion Barber, um, Bazooka rookie. Came out of that giant lot of rookies I got for, I got 300 rookie football rookie cards for 10 bucks or something or five bucks. Had a bunch of um, vet cards in it, which is why I bought it. But ironically, the the rookies are selling pretty well themselves. A Trey Sermon Prism Draft rookie, which is something I would have got out of a box. Rookie stars. Uh, this is Judge and Frazier, Clint Frazier and Aaron Judge. So this is 2018 Donruss. Aaron Judge having a hell of a season, so pretty much all my Judge stuff is sold now. Uh, Brady, star-studded. Um, I mean, it's an insert, but it's, you know, more, pretty low-end stuff, common, um, out of Rookies and Stars. Uh, Favre Peak Performer out of Pinnacle Express, 97. Uh, this one, I like this. Bob Sanders, the gold tops gold. Picked this up, I think, in a quarter box. Probably paid a little less than that. I think it was one of those stuff a box and then pay for the box. So it would have been, you know, essentially a quarter a card, but I overstuff it. So probably 20 cents, let's say that. So not a, not a bad return on a nice Bob Sanders. He was a heck of a player. Uh, numbered to 2006, by the way. I bought a lot of Auckland um, collection cards from the, the Ted Williams, Roger Staubach set, whatever you want to call it, 94. Again, a, a little bit of an underrated set. The cards actually sell pretty well. And these were serial numbered. I don't know if it all went to all the way to 100,000, maybe. Um, the ones that I've seen, they're all two zeros and then a number. So I, maybe they went to nine, 9,000 or 999 or something. By the way, this is kind of the checklist one. So the ones I got in the lot were Favre, Lombardi, and this checklist card. So the checklist sold. Pretty cool card. Yeah. So I like buying that stuff. It does pretty well, and you can get them generally pretty cheap. This is a Moss EX, 2001 EX. Again, stuff I had laying around in a box. Emmett, uh, this would have came out of some lot I purchased with, I've gotten a ton of Emmett Smith lately. Uh, so the Sensations, the Gold Border. Um, this would have been out of a dollar box, so I'm guessing paid 75 cents or something for it. This is Dennis Rodman, it's a sticker. Collector's Choice, 2001 Tops Base Favre. Uh, Prism Draft, I think this is 2020. Yeah, 2020 Prism Draft. And this is the pink, I don't know, wave, pink, I don't know. They have names for all this stuff. I don't really care <laughs> or remember what they're called. But anyway, it's pink, some sort of pink refractor insert. And then 2001 Tops Finest Base. One of my favorite um finest sets of all times so i just really like kind of the design and the colors the backs are nice got a nice little football shape spot here for the picture and you know just really really nice cards and they're they're kind of hard to find i don't think there was a lot printed i i don't get a lot of these the 2001 so anyway that's the sales for today thank you so much for watching Please like, subscribe, comment on what you think of some of these cards, and we'll see you again.